How's it going? I'm Dave. Today we're going to install, and by install I mean edited install because I'm not sure I can do this in just one day. This Lumar Pro Series 1000G windless and also the Lumar three button wireless remote kit. The Pro 1000 comes with the deck measuring template kit instruction manual, a um, couple tools, the mounting bolts and nuts. Comes with this 70 amp breaker switch and this relay um, that all need to be mounted. Um, comes also with obviously the windlass and uh, the, a switch, a remote mounting switch, which I'm going to uh, show you in just a bit. Some specialized tools that, uh, well, semi-specialized tools that you might need. So this is a fire fiberglass wire running kit. You know, these hook together uh, so you can pull wire through the tight spaces. It really makes the wire movement on the boat a lot easier. The three inch hole saw with extension that gets you down through something deeper than just this uh, the stock area of about four inches maybe and a one inch hole saw um, some type of heat gun for the heat shrink etc um, with your wires and this oscillating saw I have a DeWalt saw but um, this thing really rocks too I, I mean this cuts through really nicely uh, a flat surface or really many different surfaces including screws and stuff too I really like that tool and miscellaneous wire connectors etc here's the space I've got to work with you can see um, the forward uh, battery I put this battery in up here to give a shorter run of wire to power the uh, windlass on the bow because the longer the run the more voltage loss you have. And then you can see up under here, I should be able to get to the uh, anchor locker um, through there. You're going to need a couple of, uh, to purchase a couple things. I got this stuff on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. Um, some, you know, wire, obviously. It gives the specific sizing and whatever instructions you have. Lugs, etc. Okay, per the drawing, I mounted the relay inside here with a couple of bolts. And then I went in reverse so that they would make a big deal out here where you can see them. The breaker switch is going to go here. And all I did was take it and draw the inside of this plate out and then I'm going to cut the inside of this thing out and mount the switch. Okay, there it is. Finished product. And from the back side, as you can see, with a little shrinky wrap and uh, connectors. I was able to wire up the negative wire to the battery and this is going to be the positive wire to the battery. And yeah, so far so good. Okay, this is where it's going. I first take the template provided by Lumar and I have to line it up and it needs to be laterally lined up too. Exact measurements from this side to this side, and the same over here and over here. Once that's done, I'll tape it down and mark my drill spots, then I'll double check them and then drill again. Gonna need a 3 8 extension drill and an extension for the hole saw 
in order to drill through the deck usually because it's uh, pretty thick. So, in order for this thing not to leak, you can kind of see here, what I did was I installed this one inch PVC tubing in the bottom here and it runs through to the bottom of the boat. This is the chain locker in here and that's kind of what it looks like and then I sealed it down there waterproof so when the chain goes in here this is a wet space so when the chain goes in here uh, when the chain goes in here it's uh, not going to get a bunch of water inside the cab that isn't supposed to. The two side ports vent overboard so there's that and then out here I installed a uh, piece of tubing in the three inch hole that makes uh, it, it's uh, this stuff here right three inch um, tubing and then sealed that in there to make a nice smooth ring for the chain to drop into and then I put some uh, rock hard uh, sealing around the outside of it so next thing I'm gonna do is install the windlass itself Okay, slight hiccup. The people at Lumar include in this package this seven and a half inch uh, long mounting stud. There are three of them in the kit for mounting on your deck. Of course, my deck is thicker than this deck. And so searching the internet, I had a really almost no luck except for possibly Amazon that there was some stuff on the way but these this is what I actually need compared to what they sent me so the solution came I bought a three foot long inch or three foot long m8 uh, fine thread um, stock and cut it to length in my case, I needed nine and a half inches. So now it's good to mount. Okay, we're installing the Lumar brand remote control. In my case, a two button, not a four button. Five if you include the on off switch. The schematic shows from the switch, I don't have the deck switches, but because I'm just going to use the remote. But from the switch to the device, the controller. Um, so I've wired it up, and there's a there's a single splice a jumper between the two power lines. But yeah, so far so good. Finished product here. There is a tube going down through the boat, waterproof down there, plenty of room directly underneath the device. The wires run up and over to the Lumar control device. That little white wire is the antenna. And here's the controller. So I hold this down until the red button stays on for me. And this is going to be up. This is going to be down. There it is fully installed. Let's go watch the deck switch. Run this. Up. Down. And there's the controller from there. You don't see a bunch of wires hanging because they're all tucked up nicely. And my spare, I have a short run on this battery to keep it from 
losing voltage from a distant location. Anyway, there it is, guys.